the news, a Virginia restaurant canceled the dinner reservations of a local faith-based organization claiming the group's religious beliefs made their staff feel unsafe. Metzger's Bar and Butchery in Richmond, Virginia, canceled the Family Foundation of Virginia's 20-person reservation just an hour before the group's holiday party. The restaurant's owner says the Family Foundation limits the rights of women and the same-sex attracted community. And joining us tonight is Victoria Cobb, president of the Family Foundation of Virginia. Victoria, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. For those who are not familiar, um, would you tell us more about your group and also why you think the owners of Metzger's saw you all as a threat? Yeah, well, it's super ironic that the owner's statement that he has put out is so uh, all about being welcoming and tolerant, and yet their actions were so intolerant to Christians, to people who have faith-driven positions on issues like marriage and abortion, which is what my organization stands for. Yeah, and I know it sounds like you're, you had this reservation probably on the books for a while. At what point did the restaurant inform you they were canceling your reservation, and what was the explanation they gave you? That's right. We had had this reservation for a couple of weeks for a private room in their restaurant, and only an hour and a half before we would have arrived at their restaurant, they called a teammate of ours and let her know that they would not serve us. And they said that a wait staff, someone on their on their team, had looked us up, and the, the wait staff refused to serve us. Wow, that is uh, incredible. Actually, you know, we actually reached out to the owners uh, of the restaurant as well, and, and they say the Family Foundation seeks to deprive women and LGBTQ persons of basic human rights. Um, you know, the statement in part that they gave us said we have always refused service to anyone for making our staff uncomfortable or unsafe, and this was the driving force behind our decision. Uh, Victoria, your reaction to that. When it becomes unsafe for people of differing viewpoints to be in the same room together, simply to have a meal, in fact, not even expected to eat together, just to be in the same room, uh, we really have a problem. Our America is extremely divided, and it's really tragic that this is the way the restaurant is approaching the differences we have on these issues, which are, for us, a matter of faith. Yeah, and I'm curious, I mean, have you all ever experienced this type of treatment before? Uh, we certainly have had uh, other entities decide not to serve us. We had a, um, a, a data company decide that we weren't going to be a client because they didn't like our positions. We've had a website company uh, tell us that they wouldn't design our website. Um, so certainly, I think food service was the real shocking one that waiters would make judgments about who enters and who they actually serve. Uh, I don't think most Americans want to see a political or religious litmus test at the door of a restaurant. Yeah, and your story really has been making waves across, across that is national news. I'm curious, what kind of feedback or support have you been getting? Well, yeah, of course, the reaction is mixed. We're getting lots of very intolerant, very hateful things sent to our team. But we're also getting lots of encouragement. I think most Virginians and Americans really believe that we want to see a society that tolerates all viewpoints, that respects people of faith, that as the charity to be willing to serve each other, especially in something as simple as a restaurant. So we've gotten some great reactions, some offers to eat and other facilities, other restaurants. So um, I think most people find this behavior by the restaurant rather shameful. We have about a minute left or so, Victoria, but I'm curious, what comes next for you? And are you and your organization seeking any recourse? Well, certainly there's lots of uh, avenues on the table, and we're certainly evaluating that. Right now, I think what's great is that I think in the court of public opinion, people are weighing in and saying this is unacceptable behavior, that we don't want to have restaurants divided. Imagine a world where restaurants are based on your faith or based on your political viewpoints. I don't think anybody wants that. And so what's great about this moment is that people are hearing that there is really this this. Uh, hate and intolerance for people of faith, and they're rising up and reacting and saying, no, that's not what we want to see in our country. Well, Victoria, thank you for coming on, speaking with us and speaking up. And we're going to continue to follow your story. God bless you. Thanks for having me.